hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows forms how to bind XML file into your data grid view control using data set and then see here the output we got in the data grid view the XML file is binded to the data grid view control If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. First I will create a new XML employee file in your notepad. First I am creating a new root node employee. I am closing the employee tag, EMP details. Copy this one, paste here. Let's close this tag. And here I'm adding the columns name, charan, name, age, 32, occupation. Programmer Education MCA. The last column I'm adding salary. Fifteen thousand. Let's copy this EMP details for the second employee. I'm changing the name to Peter. His age is thirty five. Occupation is a marketing manager. Education is the MBA and salary is 18,000. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding only two employee records. Let's save this file on my desktop file. Save as. desktop employee.xml save let's open visual studio for this video tutorial i'm creating a new windows form application go to file new project the windows form application and the dotnet framework is 4.6.1 the application name is xml data grid view okay and here the windows application is created successfully let me expand this now in this form one tag i am adding one data grid view control go to toolbox i'm expanding the data folder the data grid view i'm adding After adding the data grid view control, double click the form one. First, I'm adding the namespace using system.xml. Now in the form load, adding dataset class dataset ds is equals to new dataset and dataset class we have a method called read xml file name string file name so between the double quotes i am adding my xml employee file path and this is the employee xml file i click that one to get the path properties 
just copy this location desktop paste here slash we need to add the xml file name Employee.xml and notice here we got the red marks under the slashes. The reason we need to add the forward slashes. After that, we need to bind this file into data grid view control data grid view one dot data source is equals to ds dot tables which takes a parameter int index i'm adding zero the zero basal index of data table to find That's it, we have binded the XML file to the data grid view control. Let's check the output on the browser. Start. Then see here the output we got in the data grid view. The XML file is binded to the data grid view control. That's it.